Hey guys, Micah here from ebikeschool.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own bicycle spokes. Now this is great if you have a hub motor that broke a few spokes and you need to replace them or more accurately in my case if your brother-in-law broke half the spokes on his hub motor before he realized something was wrong and now you need to fix it. But either way that's in the past now moving forward let's make some spokes. Today I'm going to be making some pretty short spokes for a 16 inch hub motor but you can follow these same steps to make any size spokes you need. Now the tool I'm going to be using is this Cyclo spoke threader. Um, and then now let's go ahead and look at how we use this and the steps for making your own spokes. Now you want to start with one example spoke of the correct length from your project. Here is one of the good spokes from the wheel I'm fixing. I'll use it as a guide to mark how long I need to cut these stock spokes to. Now there are actual spoke cutting tools, but I don't have one, so I'll just use a set of bolt cutters to cut these hard stainless steel spokes. Do this to cut all the spokes to the correct length first. Then I go back with the Dremel sanding wheel and just grind a chamfer onto the edge to get rid of that flat cutting mark from the bolt cutters. Next, I screwed my cyclo tool down to a 4x4 block of wood to make it easier to hold. From here, I'll slide my first spoke into the spoke holder on the tool and adjust the height of the spoke before I tighten down the holder. Next, I'll adjust the spoke rolling head so that the spoke just barely doesn't fit between the rollers. Now I'll push the roller up against the end of the spoke and crank it about 20 to 25 turns, then back it off. Now I'll have a very faint thread started. Next, I'll tighten the rollers about a quarter to a third of the way, then repeat the process, rolling the threads a bit deeper now. I'll continue this for about three to four cycles of tightening until the threads are deep enough. Note that this method is actually rolling the threads, not cutting them. No material is being removed here, it's just being forced into the thread shape. This is a stronger way to do it than cutting the threads, which would create larger stress risers. And as I get close, I'll check the threads with a nipple. When it screws on without much resistance, I'll know the spoke is ready. This method works fine for one spoke, but when you do many, you'll want to batch them. Here I'm running all the spokes through on the first tightness setting, then I'll tighten the rollers and do a second pass on all the spokes, followed by a third and fourth pass until they're all ready at the same time. I usually start with a few extra spokes because there's always a couple that I cross thread and end up ruining. But if you take your time and you follow these steps, you can make your own professional quality spokes too. And that's it. I hope you found that to be interesting and educational. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. And if you'd like to win a copy of one of my books, either on building your own electric bicycle or building DIY lithium batteries, leave a comment below as well because I will draw a random commenter to win one of these books at the end of my next video. And now the winner from my last video is... Willy, Willy Rago. Rago. Congratulations. Send me a private message here on YouTube. Let me know which one of my books you'd like and where to send it. And then if anyone else wants to win a book, make sure you leave a comment. All right, thanks for watching, guys.